This is the Hashirama Senju Golem. He's one of the bosses in Nindo RPG. And the hint is he's actually going to be very, very important for a certain quest. Today, I'm going to be fighting him as Asuke. Not only just to show some of my elements and moves, but also to show away this boss. So obviously, before this, we have to go customize and roll our Sasuke Uchiha. However, a lot of people have been asking, oh, do you, guys, do you like pick your own character or like do you play as the actual anime characters? Obviously, as an RPG game, you're going to be creating your character. I just picked the most hype ones because that's obviously going to get the most views. But you guys can see right here, we're going to have a slot system where you can pro pretty much just play around with each character, you know, progress new slots and obviously just customize whatever you want to do. Now click new slot. So obviously you have your slots right here. We can change our hair. Obviously get the Sasuke hair. However, like I said, you could literally customize anything you want. You could look like whatever this is and stuff like that. So yeah, y'all should be good. And obviously you guys can sh change your shirts and everything like that. We're going to have more customization and ways for you to, you know, customize your own character. But a lot of these clothes you guys can see right here, you guys won't even be able to obtain in the customization because these are drops. Like, obviously, like this, this is not, you guys will not be able to get Sasuke's TS right away. But when you finish your customization, you basically go and spin for your clan. Now, obviously, spinning, a lot of people get worried about that because then, you know, pay to win stuff. Now, I just wanted to get this clear. Things like Renegon, Tenseigon, Mangekyo Sharingan, Eternal Mangekyo, you know, Kikigenkais, they will not be spinnable. Because in my opinion, and how I think these should be working, is those hard or super crazy Kekagenkais should be obtained through the game. Like for example, in Elden Ring, to get the best armor, you have to beat the hardest boss. Things like that, they should not be just spinnable. Because it kind of ruins your immersion, and also, it is less satisfying. I don't know how if you guys agree with that, but in my opinion, that's how the game's gonna work. Like Rinnegan, you guys won't be able to spin that. That will be through games, through like secret requirements and quest lines and same thing with keke totas if you guys don't know what that is like things like wood scorch and all of that those will not be spinnable as well those will be through secret quest lines again and like through the game itself but let me just show you guys some spinning you guys can see right here this is how it spins and then obviously you guys can get all of that there will be more clans obviously but this is just what i'm going to be showing you all um and obviously with your primary and secondary elements, they're all the same rarity, uh, 20%. We're gonna go get fire and lightning because obviously that's Sasuke is. Anyways, here is the tutorial. Obviously, I believe that every game should have a tutorial because it kind of sets you up to the feel of the game and how things work. So far, the tutorial is good. Let me know in the comments below if we should add anything um, to it. But yeah, this is just a quick tutorial for you guys to kind of just get to know the game and everything like that. Jiraiya Sensei, well, kid, you got a good eye for training spots, logs, and open space, huh? Not bad. All right, let's make the most of it. All right. Here, use this. It's a little thing I picked up along the way, the Earth Wall Jutsu. Channel your chakra into it and feel the connection and use it to climb. All right, here we go. This royal tip, walk up to a wall and jump in order to wall walk. There we go. And I feel like our wall walk is very smooth as well. You guys can see right here. Things that basically you can touch, like a lot of Earth wall uh, earth jutsus you can actually wall walk in or in general stuff you can wall walk in anyways so yeah like this tree up here i can wall walk of it so yeah now let's move on to something a bit more challenging jutsu control here we go so obviously when you spawn in you have your jutsus as well you're gonna have to progress through it and you can see your jutsus if you click tab you guys can see right here you go through your stats and then you, you know you do all that and then you can see your elements right here you guys can see right here, fireball, uh, all these moves. But you're going to have to just progress through it. So yeah, everybody spawns with fireball for fire and then lightning, chidori. But yeah, here we go. We're just going to keep, we're going to use the chakra on these logs and hit them just like this. There we go. Bandit Bob. Look who thinks they're hot stuff with those little juicy tricks. You do know this is ninja training ground, not a circus, right? But hey, if you're so tough, let's see if you can handle a real challenge. How about a little one-on-one? -on -one? Of course, if you're scared to show off those impressive skills of yours in a real fight. First cue to dodge. There we go. So in this game, there's always perfect dodging and perfect blocking, which is mostly really used for bosses because I like when you can solo bosses if you're skillful enough. However, in this game, I want that same feel. So yeah. Uh, let's just go beat this guy's ass first. 
Okay, perfect block. Nice. There we go. And you might not hear it because obviously the SFX isn't in, but what the... Oh my! I think I do gotta decrease the um, knockdown duration a bit. It's a little bit too long. But we're just gonna go beat this guy's ass by spamming fireball. Oh my gosh! Bro, this guy actually perfect blocks crazy. Okay, perfect block them. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot. We do have up tilt and down tilt. I don't know why. I forgot to show that. Taijutsu is not only being able to work your fists on an offensive, you must also be able to harness your chakra for the defensive. Taijutsu relies on agility, speed, and position. I'm going to throw a few jutsus on your way. I want you to use your agility, speed, and position to dodge my attacks. All right. So Q, this is what I mean by perfect dodging. So you guys can perfect dodge just like that. You get put in a body flicker. So these are used for basically any single jutsu or any move. And if you time it correctly, you're going to be able to basically just perfect block it, uh, perfect dodge it. And this is meant for like bosses like Kurama, you know, Golem, um, Gamabunta, Manda, you know, all every single boss. You will need a master perfect dodging because if you don't, you're going to be messed up a lot. Oh, I missed that. There we go. All right. Here we go. What is he going to do? Oh, summoning. Oh, Gamabunta. What the? Okay. Your final task is face off against him in a friendly bout. Use everything you've learned. Okay, buddy. Oh, my gosh. I'm pretty sure it's doable. Okay, perfect. Dodge that. Oh, my gosh. So, this is the weaker Gamabunta, by the way, guys. This is not... Oh, perfect block. Block that. Oh, my God. Block! Block! No! Oh! No, 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 no. Bro. This is the weaker version, though. Like I said, uh, he's missing a few more moves because this is the tutorial version. Because if you guys did the actual version, there's no way you guys would even have a chance on defeating this. Oh, my gosh. Block, 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 block. Okay, perfect block. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Oh, you got to dodge that lash, lash. You could. I think you could block that first one, but you can't do anything to that second. Oh, my. Bro, 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 bro. How am I supposed to beat this? I'm pretty sure... Oh, block that. Block. No! No, you have to perfect dodge that. It's impossible. Okay. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. No, no, no. This guy. I'm cooked. I'm actually cooked. Come on. Oh. Okay. There we go. There we go. Boom. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Dodge. No, you can't. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Well, well, well. It looks like the Toad's got some bite, but don't feel too disheartened, kid. That was all part of the plan. Every shinobi faces challenges, some bigger than others. What's important is how you bounce back from them. You're making progress, kid. Keep it up. And who knows? Maybe one day you'll be summoning Toads of your own. Now let's get to the Leaf Village. All right. So here we go. The Golem fight. Obviously, he might not even spawn here at all. I'm going to say keyword. Usually, he won't spawn here. However, obviously, for this video, he will. But yeah, let's go fight this guy. All right, come on. I'm just gonna, let me go straight for M1s. I have not ever, oh, okay. I've never actually fought this boss. Like the, you, what you see here is not the same in the trailer. This is actually the boss. And the thing this with this is, I, I, obviously I know the animations, what, it, what they do. What the hell? Okay. That was the animation where dragons came, but obviously it didn't work. So let's go for M1s. Okay, come on. Oh my God. What the? Okay. Dodge that. Yup. Oh my gosh. It still hit me. Okay. I can't use any jutsus because my chakra is still going. Okay. Let's use the dragon ball. Dragon fireball. What? He blocked it? How? Okay. Oh my. I'm dead. I knew it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the dragon. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Come on. I'm gonna pop. Oh my god. Yo, this is act these these hurt. Bro, stop blocking. Phoenix. Oh my gosh. It didn't hit for me. Usually that would hit, but obviously we're good. Oh, let's dodge that. Okay, nice. Okay. Let's go use we gotta use Kieran, but much more open. Or else it's gonna get holy shoot. It's gonna get blocked. Alright, uh, we gotta use it here. Yep, this is perfect. This is a perfect place to use it. Kieran, let's go. Let's go. There we go. And boom! Alright, nice. Where'd he go? Where the hell did he go? Oh, what the? Let's use uh, Phoenix Flower again. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, we killed it. Oh, yeah. I forgot. They actually have a stage two with this. Okay, nice. 
I forgot what this does. What does he do? Okay. What you gonna do? Oh, what the hell is that? Whoa! Okay, I dodged it just in time. Okay, we gotta use auto dodge. We actually gotta use auto dodge. Come on. Auto dodge this. There we go. Oh my gosh, I still got hit by the knockback. At least we didn't take damage though. Okay, he blocked that. Next flower. Come on. Oh my gosh. Let's use uh, Kieran again. Come on. Hit him, please. Yup, nice. We hit him. Oh my. Yup, okay, good dodge. Perfect dodge. Uh, okay, we have no chakra. We gotta go for the M1s. Okay. Come on. What the hell is he doing? Whoa! Whoa! Oh my. What the? Oh my gosh! There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go for the M1s. Okay, that does no damage. No damage. Oh, okay. We perfect blocked all of those. <laughs> Wait, we actually got perfect blocking really nicely. Here we go. Oh my, come on me, huh? Oh my gosh, he blocked it again? Okay, don't block this. Come on. And, yep, okay, I got him. He's dead. Now, obviously, there's still more things to add to this. Um, SFX has to be added. And definitely a little bit more buffs in terms of the Jutsus. But that's kind of an idea of what this boss battle is going to be. Now, like he's, like I said, he won't be laying around here. Like, he's a special boss for a reason. But, yeah, let me know in the comments below. The next boss fight I'm going to be showing off is Kurama. But I'm only going to do that if we reach Lyco. And the Lyco is going to be 1,012 likes. I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, shout outs to all the Jinchuriki subscribers in the Discord. If you want to have access to Tester, you can always buy the subscription or obviously grind and get one of the Kage rolls in the Discord server.